hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Karin and this is my garden guys today we are cooking what we call in Cameroon dole yes guys my bitter leaf are ready to be harvested so I'm gonna harvest the bitter leaf and cook for you guys keep watching guys yes guys this is the bitter leaf a lot of them have grown so these are the bitter leaves Yes, guys, I'm going to harvest them and go cook for you guys. This is what we call bitter leaf in Cameroon. Even Nigeria eat it too. Nigeria love bitter leaf. Cameroon love bitter leaf, guys. So we're going to harvest. We're going to cook for you guys. Yes, guys, look at those bitter leaves. They are beautiful. Big leaf, fresh. Very nice, guys. Yes, guys. Also, I have bitter leaves. Every, I have bitter leaves like in three beds. I plant them in three different beds. So this is another bed here. Yes, guys. I'm so happy I could grow my own bitter leaf in America and harvest and cook. Wow, it's so nice, guys. Yeah, such a special time to me. I'm so happy. Okay. Yes, guys, this is a bitter leaf I harvested. It's a lot, guys. It's a lot. So I'm going to take it and go cook for you guys. But first, let's harvest some pepper to cook with it, guys. These are my pepper. A lot of them are ripening already. So I need some pepper for my food, guys. I'm gonna have some pepper. Look at those pepper, how beautiful they are. So beautiful, guys. <laughs> Woo. So beautiful, shiny. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Yes, guys, we also need some leeks. So I'm gonna have one of my leeks, just like this. Guys, my leeks are doing so well, I'm surprised. They are doing so great, guys. So this is the lake. Yes, guys, I'm done harvesting everything. So now I'm going to go cook. Yes, guys, keep watching, though. <laughs> yes, guys, I'm inside the house. This is a bitter leaf I just harvest. So now I'm going to show you the rest of my ingredients, guys. We have the bitter leaf right here. I'm going to wash it, slice it, and clean it up. Then, um, guys, we have. I'm going to use some fresh turkey in it. Some smoked fish, peanut. Yes, we need a raw peeled peanut, guys. Yes, we also call it in Africa granot. We need the peel ones. Yes, uncooked one, peel. Then we need crayfish. I told you, crayfish, I told you guys, crayfish is dry shrimp. We need some pepper, guys. Um, ginger, onions, garlic, leek. We need some leek. Then I'm going to use salt, um, uh, vegetable oil. Then I'm also going to use cow food, guys. Yes, I have cow feet boiling. This is cow feet. I already put on the fire because it's very hard to cook it. So I already put on the fire for it to boil. After it's almost ready, I'll add the turkey in there, guys. Yes, so let me start fixing my bitter leaf. Yes, guys, this is how we fix our bitter leaves. Take off the leaves. I only use the stems that are soft like that. We trash all these stems. Sometimes you can replant that stems, they will grow. If they are mature, they will regrow, guys. So that's what I'm going to do with all these bitter leaves. I'm going to fix them like this. And I'm going to wash them and slice them. Yes, guys, I'm done washing. Now I'm just slicing my bitter leaf. I'm going to slice it, boil it a little bit. Bitter leaf is a very bitter vegetable. It's very bitter, so we're going to 
like boil it a little bit to take off the bitterness from it yes before we can cook with it it's very bitter guys very bitter vegetable very good with people with diabetes guys that's how I'm gonna chop all my vitamins just like that. Yes, guys, my 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 coffee is almost soft, so now I'm gonna add my turkey in there, just like that, so it cooks. Yeah, turkey in there just like that, guys. I'm also gonna like put my fish, my smoked fish. When it steam a little bit, I'll take it out, guys, just like that. Yes, guys. Yes, guys, we need to steam our peanut before we use it to cook. I'm going to now boil it with a little water like this and put it on the fire, guys, and steam it. Yes, guys, I told you we're going to boil the bitter leaf a little bit. But before we boil it, we have to put limestone. This is my limestone. It helps to soften the bitter leaf. Yes, and to also make it green. So I'll put it in the water. Oh, that water is too hot. And let it boil a little bit, just like that. Let it boil a little bit. I'll take it out. Then I'll put the bitter leaf in there. Yes, guys. I'm taking out my limestone. Just like this. I'll put it aside. Now I'll add my bitter leaf in here. Yes, guys. Add your bitter leaf. Boil it a little bit. I told you guys, bitterly is very bitter. So all this process is to reduce some of the bitterness, guys. It's a very bitter. If if you eat, if you drink coffee, dark coffee, without putting any sugar, <laughs> it's like bitterly. Bitterly is even bitter than any like those coffee that you don't put no sugar. It's very bitter. Bitterly is bitter than those coffee, guys. It's a very bitter bitterly. So all this process. It's just to take some of the bitterness off, guys. I put it in like that. We don't want it to cook. I don't want it too soft, guys. So I'm going to try to wash it to take out some of the bitterness in them. I don't want it too soft. Yeah. Yes, guys, my bitter leaves are ready, so I took it off the fire. I'm gonna drain them. Careful, it's very hot, so be careful. I'm gonna hot water and cold water on it so it gets cold so I can. Wash it, it's very hot, guys. I'm gonna transfer it in this bowl. I wanna wash it, like, I just scrub it a little bit. Just like that, guys. Right? I'm trying to take off the bitterness in it. That's how we wash it to take the bitterness of the bitter leaf. We got it through this maybe like three times. Before we can use it to cook. Yeah, if you don't do that, your food will be so bitter. So bitter, guys. So you do that, we rinse it, then we do it again. And when you do that, be testing it. If the bitter is okay with you, you can stop it, okay? Then wash it like that. Too. Yes, guys, I'm still washing. I've rinsed the first time. This is the second time I'm washing it. This is where the work is in Dole. People don't like cooking it sometimes because of this work. Sometimes people just buy the one in the store that they have washed. But me, I plant my own. I'm happy to have my fresh one from my farm. 
Five minutes with the walk, guys. Yeah, you just keep washing. All this process to take out the bitterness, some of the bitter. You don't want the bitterness to all go away, but take out as much as you can, guys. So that you rinse it. When you're racing it and you're using a colander or shifter, use the one that is fine. Don't use the one with very big eyes. If not, you will drain all your vegetable. You trash all your vegetable, guys. Use the shifter that's a little bit fine. So you don't put everything in the drain. <laughs> all your hard work, guys. So all you do, you shift it. I'm going to now taste it, guys, to see if it's okay. I think it's okay. I don't want to taste any too much bitter stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to rinse it one more time, and I'm done, guys. Guys, now that the bitter leaf is clean, all I do is to squeeze out the water. Just squeeze out the water just like that. Take off all the water. Just like that, guys. See that? That's my, it's a lot. I can't even use it all. It's a lot of bitter leaf, guys. Yes, guys, my peanut have finished the boil. So now I'm going to rinse it. I'm going to show you guys the easy way to cook dole. Yes, just the easy way to cook it. Yes, guys. Dole is a special food too in Cameroon. Eaten by the Douala people. The business capital in Cameroon. Yes, the people from that region, they are the ones that in Dole. So it's a very special meal in Cameroon. Very delicious, guys. And very rich, too. Yeah, you can put as much meat as you want. Any kind of meat that you want to put there, you put any kind of fish. Stock fish, smoked fish, anything you have. You can also put shrimp. I have fresh shrimp. I forgot to show you guys. We're going to put that, too. It's very delicious, guys. After you rinse it, guys, you put it in your blender. We're going to blend everything. The pepper, ginger, garlic leaks inside with this, this peanut guys let's put it in your blender like that you're gonna blend everything inside my peanut i'm gonna add uh, onions garlic my leek my ginger my pepper I have to be careful with this pepper. Maybe I'll just pull four for now. <laughs> so it doesn't, it doesn't get too hot. Then I'll put a little bit of water like that, guys. And then we'll blend it. Yes, guys. Let's see if our meat is ready. Made this right. I told you that I'm doing the easy dole. Yeah, this is the most easiest way. Now that our meat is ready, and I'm going to now add my peanut that I just blend. Just like that. The easy way to cook dole, yeah. Just add your peanut that you, I, I, I blend with all the spices, yeah. It's too thick. I'm gonna raise my blender and pour it there. Yeah, just like that.
gonna let this pin not steam for at least 20 minutes but while it's steaming we are stirring it time to time we want the peanut to cook completely if you don't cook your peanut well it might cause running stomach guys so we'll cook it at least 20 minutes we'll stir it time to time yes guys normally we don't cover it but i'm gonna put my cover like halfway like that if you cover it might boil over guys yes guys while my peanut is cooking i took off my fish i steam it a little bit and took take uh, took it off right now i'm gonna remove all the bones from the fish guys i'm gonna chop it into little pieces just like that I'm also preparing my onions. I also grab my crayfish, guys. Yes, guys, our peanut has been boiling for like 15 minutes. So now I add my smoked fish. The reason I add the smoke fish is because I steam it already. So when it's like five minutes for you to add your bitali, add your smoke fish and steam it for like five more minutes. And then we'll add the bitali, guys. I told you, stir it time to time. Even though it's going to burn because it's very thick. Yes, it's very thick. It's peanut. So if you don't stir it, it's going to burn. Yes, guys, our fish are steamed for another five minutes. So now we're going to add our bitter leaves. Yes. Our bitter leaves, just like that. I'm not going to use all of it. This is a lot of bitter leaves, guys. I'm going to use all of it. You mix. Put a bit, bit at a time because... Yeah, just put a little bit at a time while you mix. Fit when you use cafe, cafe have sometimes very big bones. Yeah, I'll add a little bit more, and that's it. Sometimes the bitter leaf they form like a ball and sit somewhere you don't know. We try to mix it very well, guys. After you mix, we're not gonna add our crayfish. A very rich food guys very very rich delicious food oh my god something burned me on my face so you mix like that just gonna let it steam a little bit I'm testing for my salt, guys. When I was steaming the, the cow feet, I already put some salt and maggie in there. So now I'm testing for my salt. Mm, mm, I don't need to put anything. It tastes so good. 
She doesn't need any additional salt on my gate. Just is so perfect. Oh, so nice. Yes, guys. We'll also add our, our shrimp. I forgot to show you guys my shrimp. And I was showing you guys the ingredients. So we'll add our shrimp. This is optional though, guys. You don't need to put shrimp in there. This is just optional just to make it look more beautiful, presentable, and more rich. You don't need to put that. You mix. This is pre-cooked shrimp. It doesn't take time on the fire. Yeah, it mix like that. And now that it's like boiling a little bit, I'm not going to put my oil on the fire and put in it. That's, this is the easiest way to make dole. Easy and fast and delicious, guys. Right, now we're going to put our oil on the fire. I'll add my vegetable oil just like that. This is where the oil comes in in dole. Yes, I do this. This is how I cook my dole. Easy. I put the oil at the end of it. Yes, we're going to put the oil and add our onions that they added in the dole, guys. Yes, guys, our oil is ready. I'm adding my onions. Just like that. Let it fry a little bit, then we add it in andouille, guys. Our, on our onions is ready, so now we add it. Guys, if you don't eat a lot of oil, do not put a lot of oil. Don't let sometimes you can cook it without oil. You don't need to even put oil sometimes, guys. You just put oil sometimes in the presentation, guys. Dole is peanut, so peanut have a lot of oil, so you can cook it without putting oil. Just as I cook it like that, you just turn off your fire, you don't need to add any oil in it. Yes, guys. You put oil because of presentation sometimes, but you don't need to if you don't want to. Yes, guys, just like that. We add our oil just like that, we let it steam. See how beautiful that food is, guys. Very yummy. At this point, we try to put our stove in low because, I told you guys, peanut is very thick, so it burns very easily. So make sure your fire, your flame is not too high. Yes, guys. And the lay is ready, guys. All I need to do is just let it steam a little bit, like three minutes and everything is over guys yes guys and the is ready look at that food guys beautiful beautiful rich food yeah very fresh vitally from my own garden wow so yummy guys so yummy yes guys let me dish the food for you guys so you see we eat it with plant you can eat it with plantains yum Cassava, rice, uh, bobolo miondo, whatever carbohydrate you have goes well with ndole, goes with everything, guys. If you taste this food, guys, you'll be thinking about it all the time. It's very delicious. Very delicious, guys. Let me turn off the fire and dish it for you guys. Beautiful. Yes, guys. Let me dish your food for you guys. Let's see how beautiful that food is. Very beautiful. Very delicious. Oof. If you don't like to drink water, <laughs> eat bitter leaf. <laughs> bitter leaf is going to make you drink water all day. When you eat bitter leaf, <laughs> it just makes you thirsty. It makes you drink water. If you have somebody that don't like drinking water, just try bitter leaf. Just try ndole. Anything cooked with bitter leaf. Oh my goodness. It's very yummy, guys. Very, very yummy. Yes, guys. It's very delicious.
trying to find all my shrimp. They are running away from me. <laughs> Can't find all my shrimp. They are hiding in here, guys. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to push shrimp. They're just for presentation, guys. Yeah, just presentation. Mm hmm Oh, guys, look at that food. Look at that yummy, yummy, delicious food, guys. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's so yummy. It's so yummy, guys. This pepper is just extra for people that like to eat spicy, spicy food, guys. Oh, my goodness. Guys. Oh, beautiful, guys beautiful beautiful food guys yummy delicious guys delicious look at that soup wow delicious meal delicious guys yum 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 yes guys thanks for you guys for watching please if you like this video do not forget to subscribe or give me a thumbs up please hit the notification bell so when i upload a new video you'll be notified thank you guys so much thank you for your patience i know my videos are long thank you for your patience guys see you next time bye bye